I want to call the, the next project uh, Sustenergy. Please. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Tomer. Uh, Tomer Marki from Sustainergy. Uh, about three months ago, I was sitting with a friend of mine at uh, one of these dog parks in Tel Aviv, and we saw what you'd expect to see. We saw a dog doing his business, the owner picking it up, throwing it away, and carrying it on. And what I thought to myself was, this guy is not realizing that he's thrown away a very valuable resource. In general, we never consider that the waste we throw away is an untapped resource. And I want people to start thinking, next time you actually step in dog poop, to think to yourself, damn it, I could have recharged my iPhone with that. And the fact is that biogas is an untapped resource. Uh, when we think about biogas, it's ethical, it's profitable, and it's simple. It's good from the environment. We can take our waste, reuse it to provide energy. We're taking garbage and making energy out of it. This is profit. And most importantly, it's a simple concept that's existed for thousands of years. And it's now the time to make it efficient and to actually start using it in society and our infrastructure. The fact that it's profitable, um, we need to understand that Today, there's a huge appetite for energy. And fossil fuels, I think everyone understands, can't feed this huge appetite. And we're looking around the world for different types of alternative energies. When we look at biogas, we can see that in the past five years alone, there's over 10,000 biogas plants being built worldwide. And by the year 2020, we can expect 50,000 plants. But you may ask, why biogas? Why, why not solar? Why not wind energy? Why not take algae and make energy out of that? Who would want to deal with manure? And the fact is that by creating energy from waste, we're providing an alternative for the waste itself. Rather than putting it in landfills or shipping it to another country, we're taking waste and creating energy. And I hope everyone can understand the potential that exists behind biogas. And the question that now needs to be asked is, if this is such a great idea, it's such a great technology, why is this a small fraction of the world using biogas to treat waste and provide energy? It is a fast-growing industry, and there's a huge demand for uh, alternative energy. And I'm, I'm hoping I can convince you guys that biogas really is one of the best answers we can provide for the energy crisis that we will enter. The problem with biogas, though, is that it's not efficient. And when we look at uh, biogas plants and what they're trying to do, most biogas plants are trying to achieve 80% methane gas in the biogas. And in labs, this works great. But for some reason, when you look at the field, you never get these results. Usually, you operate at about half of what you'd expect <coughs> to see. We want to achieve maximum potential. This is our goal. And to do this, we first looked at what's being done in the industry. Today's industry is focusing primarily on trying to find a magic enzyme that you could put into a reactor and it'll create more uh, methane and higher yields of methane. Or to do a pretreatment. Or specifically, most solutions are looking at process-wise solutions. We even experiment with this. Uh, in one of our projects at a wastewater treatment plant, we, we took a look at how to take enzymes and actually put them into a reactor. And it's complicated. You know, it's biochemistry. Every little change can offset the entire system. So we started thinking, what else could be done? And we were actually surprised that no one came up with what we started thinking about. We came up with something very, very simple. Rather than looking inside the reactor, we started looking what comes out of the reactor. And what comes out is effluent. Effluent is, is the liquid that comes out of the reactor that's already partially digested. And we looked at the effluent and we said, why not treat this directly? Why deal with an operating plant? It's operating. It's working. Let's look at the effluent itself. And by doing so, we believe we can increase the profit of every single biogas plant in the world by adding what we call a biogas bottoming unit. A uh, biogas bottoming unit is meant to deal with uh, waste that's already lower in organic content 
that's more liquidy than what you would put into a regular digester. Uh, and by doing so, we can extract more methane out of the same organic matter that otherwise would actually be a source of pollution. Okay, it's something that you have to pay extra money to actually treat. Uh, again, the, the bottoming unit is based on uh, what's called baffled technology. Uh, it separates the liquid and the solid phase from each other. And in doing so, uh, we, we're capable of taking the organic matter that's remaining in the effluent of the original biogas plant and allowing it to break down even further inside our bottoming unit. So what exactly is the bottoming unit? Uh, as I said, it's, it's a baffled technology. Uh, it can also be used as a standalone biogas unit. Not necessarily does it have to just be attached. But the point is that it's looking to maximize uh, the methane potential in the organic matter. Uh, so the most important thing here to understand is that the operation of the biogas plant doesn't have to be changed. And this is the number one thing that most plants have a problem with. When you look at enzymes and you start telling a biogas uh, operator that he needs to change the way he's running it and the organic loads and the organic matter and the timing has to change, they right away don't want to do this. And this is usually the first hurdle that any uh, operation trying to increase methane potential is. So the bottoming unit, we just take the current condition of the biogas plant and put a unit at the end, and that's it. We get better efficiency out of methane yield. We're get, capable of getting uh, cleaner wastewater, less cost to treat the, the final effluent, and most importantly, we're getting more energy. The, the biogas unit itself just takes the... Yep. So uh, our... Uh, our estimates are that we can increase biogas production by up to 20 percent. Uh, in terms of uh, cost of uh, the, the return on investment, we believe they should take a two megawatt plant and we can increase by only three percent. Three percent methane yield, we can return investment in three years, which is nothing. And we can increase methane potential of every single biogas plant in Israel and the world. Uh, this is the bottom unit, what it looks like, our simple design. As you can see, it increases <coughs> revenue. It's good for wastewater treatment. Uh, and, and the best thing is it doesn't require any changes in the original system. And AutoCAD designed the system, currently in the process of prototypes and testing out the results of it. Uh, since I have to rush up, uh, it's important to understand that this could be used for any wastewater treatment plant. It could be used for any agricultural biogas plant or municipal waste. When you think of organic waste, you need to think biogas. But to improve the biogas, we need to add a bottoming unit to every unit to take the final effluent and extract the maximum amount of methane from it. Uh, and what's special about us, the last one to tell us about our team, is that uh, me and my two friends here, Yoni and Igo, uh, we were, originally came to this from uh, Engineers Without Borders, a uh, nonprofit group. And we, we all come with a point of view that the only way to solve the world's problems is through technology and innovation. And this is what we're presenting here, to actually take a technology that's being used and maximize it, actually make it work around the world. And thank you. Questions from the judging panels? Judging panel? Who is this, uh, what is the function of the design? The design itself? Or the you had a, uh, in the cycle that one of your uh, team is a designer. Right. That's your designer. That's your designer. If I may use in Hebrew, it's you. Yeah. Uh, it's Sufta City. It's Sufta City. Even when you work with shit, you need a designer. Of course. <laughs> of course. Very nice. Uh, I have a question. This looks to be very complicated. I mean, it's not. Very simple. Why, what would prevent those biogas <coughs> existing facilities to actually retrofit their own facilities with the existing equipment, do some retrofit, instead of getting this bottoming unit, which looks to me very large and complicated to attach? And so the bottom unit is actually much smaler than any digester you would put. Uh, the ability to separate <coughs> the sludge from the water inside the plant reduces the amount of space that you actually need which is really the genius behind this, this type of design. Um, when you retrofit a system, when you try and improve a system, 
right? There's, there's in the biogas production uh, process, there's many different steps and thousands of different microorganisms. When you try to improve one thing on one end, you usually create a different reaction on the other end. This is why the enzyme systems don't work, because eventually you run into problems that you didn't expect from the beginning. This is why when we look at, in Israel, we've looked at several different plants, and we've seen that the organic matter in the final effluent is full of organic matter. It, most, not most, but half of the waste that could potentially become methane did not degrade. And what happens to it? It flows onto soil many times, in a specific area which I won't say in the name, and then from the soil, it leaches down into groundwater. We're seeing a, a huge problem in terms of pollution, increasing uh, nitrate concentrations in groundwater because it's not being treated correctly. Any other questions from the audience? Yeah. It's a nice declaration of intentions, yeah. and it's a right concept, but you don't have the proof of concept, and you're in such an early state that all I can say to you is, Nice positive way of thinking, but the way ahead is very long and very far from you. What is the proof that your concept is more profitable and beneficial than the disease? Look, this uh, baffled reactor, it's nothing new. We're not reinventing any type of wheel. These work. We've seen them work. Um, as part of engineers at our borders, we, we've come across these similar systems that are used to treat wastewater. The idea of, uh, of baffled reactors are proven to work. Our system adjusts the baffled reactors that are used for wastewater to fit to sludge. Okay? Uh, we, we've changed certain parameters and we've built a prototype that is, is currently uh, in the stages of being tested out. From here, our next stages is a pilot program. Yeah, we're in the early stages, but we know that this is the future of biogas and we tend to be a part of it. We tend to be leaders in this industry. Two questions, if I may. First, I didn't actually understand by the end if the bottoming unit is actually doing a biological or a chemical process. And second, why, why metabolizing or why converting it into biogas and not, for example, bio oil, oil bioalcohol, or, or whatever, which are, might be more applicable to our industry? Um, well, first of all, it's both both a biological and a chemical reaction. It's a biochemical reaction, okay, that's mostly done through uh, uh, bacteria and archaea uh, and uh, external enzymes that they mostly produce. Okay, so in terms of biological chemical, it's both biochemical process all the way through. The ABR is a, is a biogas system. It works in the same principles as biogas. What's beautiful about the, the <coughs> BAF technology, it's capable of separating different stages that would be in the same reactor in the standard unit, it's actually a cable of separating them into different sections. Now, in terms of, of converting it to bio oil or anything else, you need to find a market. There is no current market for bio oils out of waste. There's bio alcohol, there is no market for bio alcohol? You, bio uh, you could, but when you're talking about sewage sludge, it's, it's not, there's no one that's using it. You could take corn. Okay, corn, you can grow corn. There's agricultural ram uh, ramifications that obviously we know. But when we talk about sewage sludge or animal waste, <coughs> the, ma the main use for it worldwide is, is to do, make, turn to gas. And these systems exist. We're not looking to, let's build new systems. We're saying, let's take these current systems and let's make them work. Let's m reduce the uh, environmental impact they have, and while doing so, increase the amount of methane they produce, and thus the amount of energy produced. Thank you very much.